Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's time to get done with this Eternity of Pain. So this is the third iteration of Eternity of Pain. This is the finale, and we're going to go through it. Uh, I'm going to break it up into two videos. This is my first run, and as you can see there, I've got uh, level one revives expiring, and I had like, what, 50 of them in my overflow. So I'm not going to try really hard to get solos. And of course, I'm going to go in here with Hercules and I'm going to want to ramp him up. So not too worried about ramping him up with a few revives because it's worth it. Uh, the fights will go much faster. All right. Now, uh, this one will take care of all but one of the objectives. Each of the objectives is an exclusionary objective, I guess they would you call it. Basically, um, each of the objectives, you have to not bring a certain class. So by bringing all one class, I fill all of the other five objectives. You know, do this without this class or that class or this class. So I'll be able to do this and then one other that will be do it without a uh, cosmic. And I've got plans for that one as well. That one was uh, fun and uh, educational, actually. So in this one, I do actually learn a technique that has eluded me for a long time, ever since before Korg came into the game. Okay, so what is that? Uh, it, when I do it, you guys will see. So first thing, I forgot to use the uh, pre-fights for Odin. I always do that for some reason. I brought Odin in for his pre-fights and I'm not doing it. And that was crazy right there. My controls stopped responding to me. I went to go backwards. It said no. Then it went forwards. I said, okay, we see. So I wanted to get the kinks out. And that's the only reason I kept going because I wasn't going to keep this try. There's no way. All right. No way I was going to keep it. But I wanted to see roughly how, um, how this did. Now, this is something that if you're using Hercules, you have to remember his immortality is a buff. Tranquility is going to get rid of all your buffs. So you're not going to get, even if you have a SIG 200 like I do, um, Hercules, you're not going to get the full use of your um, immortality more than likely because of that tranquility. Okay. So as you saw, I went ahead and uh, just restarted and still didn't put on the Odin pre -fights. Just completely forgot about him absolutely forgot about them all right so i'm kind of warming up here you know i want to warm up you know you saw i went in there and then my health went bye bye that's the node okay just remember that um you don't want to parry more than uh like three times you don't want to do that um and i just was pretty much ignoring the node uh, i do that with hercules I wanted to get a nice uh, run in, but as long as I was uh, getting feats of strength, it'll make things a little bit easier for me, okay? Now, something about Modoc's AI and the way he moves ugh, drives me nuts. All right, now you see how I'm doing backdraft intercepts? I want you to note how I'm doing them because I'm gonna tell you one of the things that I learned, one of the techniques, I didn't really uh, do. Okay, he just caught me there. And so I'm just like, all right, whatever. We're just going to keep on going. That's fine. Gave me another feat. And so I'm just like, yeah, let's see how well uh, this run goes. All right, got him in the corner. He don't want to move. That's fine. Boom. Now I'm not um, immortal anymore or unblockable. Or, or unstoppable because of the tranquility. 
All right, but I do have my um, my my uh, feats of strength that will carry over. So I've got three of them that will carry over, I believe. So at this point, I'm just you know seeing how much more damage we can do. Okay, still warming up, but this is a really good run. And like I said, I'm not trying to get a solo. But I still want to do, you know, decent job. Okay. There we go. And in this one, you really need to intercept as you see me doing there. But like I said, I I've learned a different technique. Now, that right there was my fault. When he has a bar of power or any power, um, one or two bars of power, don't try to intercept him. Just don't do it. So as you see here, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, revive. There's, there's no reason uh, for me to uh, keep trying to get a solo, which I could do. But I want to get this thing done. I don't want it to take forever. So that's one feat completed. And I know I'm going to get the uh, intercept one eventually. Okay. Did I, I'm trying to remember if I got the intercept one. Okay, I think that that was the intercept. I think so. Not sure. All right, so immortality gone. All right, if that wasn't, that was the intercept. And it's, it's a pretty straightforward fight if you intercept. So we got our feats and we... Got him down, one revive, not too worried about it. Now this one here. If you guys saw my video when I did this during the week, this fight I hate the most. I truly do. And it has nothing to do with how difficult Craven is or the difficulty of the fight. It's that root mechanic. I got issues, I got trauma. And being held in place like that drives me crazy. It actually is triggering. And whatever I want to do, I want to avoid that. All right. So you see here, I'm just like, okay, this is crazy. He was just wrecking me. But I'm just like, okay, that's fine. As long as I get some feats of strength. And for some reason... It would not let me move. Now, see here? That drove me nuts. Okay? But I had a special ready. Now, something that I kept doing in this fight... Look at it. It, it just wouldn't move. That that You're going to see that happen a lot. Where my guy just stands there. The guy... You know, Craven is unblockable. And I just stand there. And he's just like... He finishes his combo. He waits a second. And then he goes in again. And I'm not moving really annoying okay but anyway um here i believe i started um practicing this technique i believe i did let me see um if i do it no nope, not yet now that right there is very annoying because i'm trying to get out of the trap and so i just fire that special off look He's not moving. He won't he won't go back. I'm like, come on. Move. See, look, won't move. I'm like, are you kidding me? At least I'm getting this, uh, the feet. And see, like right there, I couldn't move and I got triggered and I fired my special off. He wasn't even close to me. That is why I dislike this fight. Because it's it it, it it's very triggering. Okay. Um but I was just like, I'm calm. I just started breathing very, very evenly and was just like, okay, whatever. See, no problem. Just getting hit. Not going to worry about it. Okay, not going to worry about it. Look at it. Just, just one move. It's like, am I stunned? What's going on? I don't know. There I am. But at least that time, I'm unblockable. Now, this I do often, 
And this is just me. He's unstoppable. So I can parry him, hit him with a heavy attack, change him back to unblockable, which is easier to deal with. But I always forget. And I don't look up there. I'm too busy, worried about the traps. And he's unstoppable. All the time. All the time. But I was just like, you know what? He's going to go down. So I'm not even going to worry about it. Okay, now there, I actually was able to go backwards. And, you know, now we're doing what we should do. All right? And then he caught me there real good. He just caught me. Nothing nothing else uh, uh, for that one but that he just caught me. Um, but he's going down. So, I, like I said, this, this particular fight, I already knew I wasn't going to enjoy it. With Hercules, it made it a little bit more manageable, okay? So, you see here, now I'm starting to, you know, play a little bit differently, okay? See that? Got my intercept. Look at that. Intercepting. Okay, boom. Another intercept. But I want you to note how I'm intercepting here. Again, he didn't move. Don't know what it is. Look, look. What, 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 why won't he move? Look, look. He's just standing there. Y'all know I'm not doing that, right? You know I'm not just standing there getting hit. But now that, I do. When he's unstoppable, like that, um, we got him down there. But when he's unstoppable, I'm forever forgetting to parry him, knock him down with a heavy, and then go back to um, interceptions and um, playing him stun immune, basically. Very annoying. Oh my goodness, that was annoying. Okay. Now, I brought Hulkling for this fight. That's why he's there. You may notice, I still haven't used the pre-fights for Odin, and now I'm going in with Hercules. Yeah, real good, real good. All right, so I'm just like, all right, whatever. We'll see how much we can do here. You know, I mean, we're doing damage. <laughs> we're going to do damage. And then at this point, I just said, let's just go for it. We're going to die. Already know that. But I just want to do as much damage as possible. Why he didn't throw the special three right there, I don't know. Or she. Uh, I don't know. But then she did it there. When I was like right on him. The other time... There was a part I was expecting her to do it. She didn't. I think it has something to do with if they're lower health, they have a higher chance to fire it off. I've noticed that. But but look at what I did to her. And and it wasn't even with Hulkling. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to bring Hulkling in just because. Okay? That's just no reason but just because. Now, he's a five-star. Okay? And I wanted to play around with him for a little bit. Um, learn a little bit, you know, more about him, right? But here, and this annoyed me, okay? So, you saw that. I was waiting. I baited it out. Waiting. Block, okay? So, I'm just like, okay. And you see how we're chewing uh, Penny up. Hulkling is awesome for this fight, okay? Look at this. Just crazy good against Penny. Look at that. Just tear it up. Okay, and then that happened. I'm like, okay, let's bait out. There we go. Now, I want you to know something. You saw the character dash back twice. I did not. I did not dash back twice. I dashed back once, and I pressed the block. I'm holding the block. He dashed again and got hit, and I was still holding the block. Looking at my finger. I'm like, seriously? Seriously? You just dash backwards like that and I'm sitting there holding finger hand moved. Anyway, at least this time we finally put on the Odin pre-fights. Uh yeah, pre-fights. And but that that really really got me upset. But I was just like, okay, whatever. Got her down. We're not we're not breaking the bank or anything. Um you know, no speed records. No crazy amounts of revives or anything like that. All right. Now, this fight, I kept doing this. I kept parrying him, if I remember correctly. 
it was really annoying. So, with this fight, if you parry him, you're gonna put an armor break. Like that. But when you have an armor break, he puts a degen on you for the length of the armor break. Now, of course, with Hercules, it's not that big of a deal, but he goes unstoppable. And when he's unstoppable, you basically need to either wait it out or just get clobbered. So I just fired that off. You know, I was going to die anyway because I am running suicides. So the recoil was going to get me anyway. So I was just like, let me just get a chunk out of his health. And, and we're good. Um, I wasn't too worried about it. This is the last fight. We did fairly decently um, in the run. Could have done much better, of course. But I'm still having fun using Hercules at this point. Okay? So you see here, I did a little bit better because I didn't parry. <laughs> parry him. Okay? So I didn't trigger his immortality right away. All right, so I'm trying to play the note at this point, and then I parried him again. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you guys. Like I said, I just kept parrying him. It was really annoying. And then, of course, I tried to go in because I saw the uh, unstoppable. But this time, we got off a special two. So we did a whole lot more damage right there. You know, there he is. Look at that. He's, he's unstoppable, so there's not much I can do. I wanted to go in again, but yeah, he fired his special three. But his health, look at his health. We took another big chunk. So it's not like it's it's draining us here. So I'm just like, okay, we doing good. This is one of the reasons that Hercules um, took the place in my heart for the top cosmic. Um, Corvus used to be my favorite. Not anymore. Definitely Hercules by a long shot. All right, so I'm trying to be a little safer here. All right, got to dash a little bit because he was unblockable and I didn't want to get hit just yet. All right, and there we go. Nice intercept. He's about to go unstoppable. Okay, so now we just bait that out. Dash back, boom. And we're done. Just like that. So not a bad run. Not a great run. But we did it. We did it, and uh, it was it was relatively fun. It, it 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 the only blemish on that was that Craven fight, and that's not anything to do with their, you know what what uh, Kabam has done. It's that root mechanic. No matter where it is, Rintra has the root mechanic. I don't even want him. I've heard he's good. I don't want him. He roots himself. No, I don't want him. Same thing with Craven. Don't want him. Uh, anyway, so that's the end of the first run. As you can see, we got all those uh, objectives, and we have one more to go. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and you all have a blessed day.